Hey, it's time for this week's video update. And you know, there's a lot going on. As you can see behind me, construction is in high gear. Uh, we're still anticipating August 1st occupancy. I want to talk a little bit about the new bus. We're going to start bus service to East Nashville as soon as we find another driver. So we're looking if you know anybody or if you're looking for some part-time work early in the morning, early in the afternoon, give me a call. We've also got summer camp stuff that Leslie's going to bring to your attention. Well, we're back again this week and we're going to be covering a few more summer camps for you. Camps such as Sharpie Art and Lego and Reader's Theater and keyboarding. Cut! What? You forgot the movie making camp. Oh, the movie making camp. That's right. Well, you were in the movie making camp. Yeah, that's how I learned how to direct. In fact, I'm taking over the video spotlights. We learned the basics of movie making from editing and filming to directing, storyboarding, and then finally being able to see the final product at screen. I would definitely recommend Movie Camp to everyone. Places, please. Take 22. Action. This week on Video Spotlight, we're going to cover more summer camps. In Sharpie Art, we're going to be using Sharpies every day, lots of different colors, so all your pinks and yellows and oranges and greens, creating different art pieces with the Sharpies. There's definitely a level of everyone getting along at the table and um, sharing your Sharpies, but this will be more individual work. And then in Lego Camp, we will be working in teams and doing some team building strategies so that we can complete different challenges, like who can build some type of transportation device or who can build the tallest tower. We'll work together to get those challenges complete. This summer I am offering a camp again that I offered last summer called Friendations. It's offered to students kindergarten through second level and it really is an opportunity for the kids to learn uh, basic social skills. Everything from conversational skills to how to appropriately uh, share their feelings and de-escalate when they're feeling angry or frustrated. The kids make fire breathing dragons out of cups to learn deep breathing to practice uh, de-escalating when they're frustrated or angry and they feel like they're breathing fire like a dragon. We also learn about personal space through the kids using hula hoops in personal space camp and learning how to have an appropriate distance in their personal bubble. Further Friendations is sort of a Friendations part two. It is uh, more complicated skills that the kids that have taken Friendations last summer uh, might want to develop further, accepting consequences, accepting no for an answer, and working on peer conflict and management. Looking forward to another fun summer. Let's talk about Earth Day. And before I go into too much detail about Earth Day, let me toss it to Amy Farrell. Amy, what can you tell us about Earth Day? All right, Earth Day is on Friday, April 22nd. We'll start the day off with some classes, and then we will go into our school-wide Earth Day assembly. We're going to have some music. We'll also announce our winners for our um, poetry contest. And then we'll have lunch down at the field. Um, we'll also have some speakers that day. And then we'll all come back up here to the main campus and we'll break off into our grade levels and do some individual activities. So yeah, that pretty much sums up Earth Day. We're really excited about it. And um, we also have Miss Negron here who's gonna talk to us a little bit about our art and music festival. This year's art show um, will be Thursday, April 28th, right after school. We have some amazing um, art works to be exhibited throughout the hallway from JK through 8th level. Also, Mr. Stewart and Ms. Hopkins have been working really hard um, to get those students that perform. They'll be performing right at the lobby at 3.30. And also, Ms. Kitchell is preparing her amazing forensic team to perform and act also at the lobby. And we are just really gearing up uh, for the show and we really hope to see uh, friends and family and SBA community supporting the arts. Our Science Olympiad team finished uh, their competitions for this year at the state competition in Knoxville, University of Tennessee. Congratulations to the kids for their awards that they've accomplished over the course of the Science Olympiad and the awards they won at the state competition. So that just about wraps it up. Have a great weekend. And as always, go build a building and go Bears.